mom that's traveled the world, you had a storm in every port. Uh, anybody has any doubts about the fact that I'm uh, Ruben's father? I built the socks here to prove it. Thank you for the present. The video is there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, firstly, let me say what an absolutely wonderful occasion it is today. We are celebrating the wedding of Michelle and Donald. And I think I can speak for everybody here today when I say thank you very much for the wonderful spread that's put on today. Uh, it's great to be surrounded by so many good friends and relations. And just to add a little to what Michael said, uh, Sheila, Una and Martin have travelled all the way over from Spain to be with us today. And again, thank you to Neil, Leah, Ian and Dara for coming all the way from Switzerland. Uh, I'd like to compliment Michelle on looking exceptionally beautiful today. And of course, Leslie and Adrian, the bridesmaids, and all of you lovely ladies we're out your best today. Uh, I think we can't let the day going without mentioning Emma and Sam. And Kira and Lennon also. Uh, now, I just want to say that Barbara uh, and I weren't blessed with having any daughters uh, to add to the priceless gift of having four sons. <laughs> my, my new daughter-in-law, Michelle, uh, she has all of the qualities and more uh, than any parent would want in a daughter. And indeed, I'd like to extend that to my three other lovely daughters-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since we first met, uh, Michelle has she's enriched our lives with her caring personality. Uh, just as I'm sure she has enriched and will continue to enrich Donald's life. I think Donald can count himself very fortunate in marrying a girl who's so good looking, has <laughs> such a kind, good humoured, and generous hearted nature, and is also such a good cook. <laughs> Which is self-evident from the fine condition in which we find the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barbara and I have discovered a secret of a happy marriage, as Mick mentioned. Uh, for the last 25 years, we go out uh, to a nice restaurant. We have some nice food, listen to some nice music, have some nice wine. I go Friday, she goes Tuesday. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield, one of my favourite comedians. My wife and I were happy for 25 years, then we met. <laughs> he also said, I've been in love with the same woman for quite a years, but my wife doesn't find her. <laughs> and I can't forget, I can't leave out Groucho Marx who said, marriage is an institution, who wants to live in an institution? <laughs> But uh, it's said that uh, to marry in haste is to repent of leisure. Uh, I don't think that's what must die here. I know there'll be no repentance because Donald and Michelle have known each other for most of their lives. And it has been our good fortune also to get to know Michelle's parents, uh, Michael and Marie, and the rest of the extended Bill's family. I'm very fortunate to work with Donald and Connor and at times uh, with Brian and Neil also uh, for a good part of my life. Uh, and I'm doubly fortunate that since my retirement, Donald and Connor brought me back intermittently in my old age as their logistics manager. <laughs> that simply means I'm the messenger boy. <laughs> but that suits me fine. I reckon I get to the best of both worlds. I remember when Donald first started working with us. 
after he left school and falling for some of the old tricks like Connor sending him over to me to get the long stand. <laughs> I thought, stand there for a while, you know. Or else to get a skirting leather. That was always uh, accompanied by a mumble fuck off you. <laughs> <laughs> we all had to go through that, we all had to go through that, you know, but um, our building arrangements have gone into the fourth generation now, with the grandson Jack there doing a stint with Donald and Connor at the moment, and they have paid the Vera and Killian uh, till a little bit also, if you discount uh, child labour and exploitation. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout all of his life, Donald has remained the same kind and lovable person that he's always been. Uh, he's not only my son, but one of my best friends, and I know that in Michelle, that he's found the ideal partner. I think I skipped a page. <laughs> it, might, it, might seem odd, it might seem odd to be talking about yourself at your son's wedding, but that, I just want to do that for a very brief moment. Uh, I mentioned earlier about sons and daughters. Now, I know brothers growing up, having instead four sisters, one that sadly left us recently. Now, I'm not saying there was anything wrong with that. In fact, it was positively a delicate time to be surrounded by four adoring females who waited oh, upon your hand and foot. <laughs> And a half a crown at the right time to get you a crease in your trousers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, having a uh, horse on perhaps the greatest experience of my life, apart from meeting Barbara, of course, that is, uh, it was like growing up all over again. Uh, because they taught me as much and more as I ever taught them, and I benefited from, benefited from their love and wisdom as much and more as the other way around. Now, I think there's an old expression in Irish that says, it's been bailed in a hus, which roughly translated means it's a sweet melt of nose meant to stay shut. So I'm not going to go on all day, but I want to say to Donald and Michelle, Pascal again, as long as I'll say the good, in the early game over there, son of the service of good, I was Gomorrah Shiv or Sail Nua. So ladies and gentlemen, let me just propose that as a toast, Australia. May you have health and long life. May the road rise to you. May you have wealth and happiness. And may you enjoy our new life together. So ladies and gentlemen, I propose a toast. The Donald and Michelle. Thank you very much. Very emotional, wasn't it? Even the cake was in tears.